In my last video, I said it would be the last one because I had to read my impact statement and then sentencing, but I was wrong. We have been to court twice to read our statements, but Charles Spedigue kept delaying it, saying he was not ready. It's been three years. Now, and the next court date is the anniversary of my son's death. How kind of him to put it on that day. So I sent Melvin Miller another letter by fax. I sent it 25 times. No answer. I sent the ch chief of police a letter. And this is what I wrote. My name is John Pedvaskis. I would like to say it's nice how you stick up for your officers. If those officers break the law, would you make examples out of them? So the other officers would not do the same? Or would you cover it up? The law for unknown 911 calls states that for any unknown call, the police have to believe it's the worst case scenario. And it was. Isn't that true? They got on November the 20th, 2011, your office got four 911 calls and an eyewitness saying they saw a young man with blood on his face. The police station was one minute away from the train bridge on the Red Hill Highway. My son was being stabbed multiple times on the road, Red Hill. So where were your officers? He was left for dead, but he crawled onto the side of the highway where he died waiting for help and it never came. Why? I was told at preliminary hearing those officers should have been there. They weren't. Why? Now there's going to be a plea bargain and I believe it's so. Those officers don't have to show up. The animal asked his friend to help him kill my son. He said no, but he would rob him and he testified to this. The animal stabbed Dustin on the throat on the trail, left, came back, saw him on the highway trying to flag down cars, climbed a six foot fence, attacked him again. This wasn't planned, it was. That's first degree murder. And he confessed to it. And still, they're gonna do a plea bargain. There's something wrong here. That was murder. Your officer could have saved him, but didn't. Why? Not one officer ever said to us they made a mistake or they were sorry for our loss. Why? Those officers should be charged with accessory to murder because they did not do their job. They helped that animal kill my son because they didn't go down there. So what happened to those officers? And who are they? This is Dustin's father, John Pervaskis. Also, when I asked the homicide detectives, they said, sometimes it happens. No one is above the law, right? That was the letter. Okay. Oh, and I, I got no answer to it. So I sent Justin Trudeau a letter. Let's see if he helps us. My family has been discriminated against by our justice systems because we are victims. How just is that? Victims' rights should precede the criminals' rights, not the other way around. Victims have no rights when they're being killed, right? My idea of hell is what my family is going through in our justice system, and we did nothing wrong. Shouldn't the criminals be in hell instead? And my son is still here. Let's hope that Justin Trudeau can help us out. Okay, thank you.